Legislation could drown out some sea level warnings as communities look to grow for the future. Today, protesters tried again to be heard. Cullen Browder is in our newsroom to explain. Cullen? Well, Gerald and Jackie, the sea level rise debate in North Carolina is an issue that has garnered international attention, in some cases, ridicule because critics see state lawmakers as discarding science to clear the way for development. For the coast, it's just another delicate balance between progress and Mother Nature. There's no debate over the sheer beauty of the North Carolina coast. The contention lies in how much the Atlantic will encroach. Based on global warming, a North Carolina Coastal Resources Commission scientific panel predicts the sea level will rise 39 inches by the end of the century. This recreation of geography research at East Carolina University shows chilling widespread vulnerability throughout eastern North Carolina should the ocean rise four to six feet. Storm damage like this from last year's Hurricane Irene would only be amplified. It's going to cost us much more in the end if we don't make the proper precautions now. These protesters believe many lawmakers are ignoring science with legislation that discounts those predictions as incomplete and overblown. My name is Christina Benavides. I'm from Wilmington, North Carolina, mm -hmm. and these are petitions. The group delivered petitions to legislative leaders urging they don't turn their backs on the warnings. Accept them on behalf of the speaker. And I think it's absolutely ridiculous that our leaders are telling us to ignore reality, ignore evidence, and uh, embrace some illusion in order to help real estate de developers make a little more money. We are asking for more science. We are asking for legitimate science. Science that didn't use just one model out of hundreds of models out there. Carteret County Representative Pat McElraft argues coastal communities should rely on historical sea level data as well as more studies. In the end, the bill sponsor believes the state shouldn't overreact to scientific predictions. I am protecting the economy of the coast of North Carolina and also the ecology. Now, the U.S. Geological Survey just released another study that shows the East Coast from Cape Hatteras up to Boston has already seen a sea level rise three to four times higher than most of the world in just the past 20 years. The sea level bill remains in conference committee and it could come up for a vote this week. Gerald.